Hey everyone, Salesforce Shorts here. So today we're going to talk about uh, SOAP API. Okay, so we want to do a SOAP API callout. So the first thing we're going to do is just go to Apex and go to Apex classes. And you'll see a button over here that says generate from WSDL. So if you if you want to do a SOAP API callout, you need to get this script from your third party. Okay, so what that looks like is pretty much something like this. So yeah, there's a whole lot of stuff in here. And if you don't have any idea what's going on there, that's alright. I don't either. So that's fine. So just click the generate from WSDL button. And in there choose the file. So I've got the file over here, click open, and then click that parse WSDL button. So what's cool is over here, you can basically choose a class name. So just choose whatever you want over here. So I'm just going to call this um, just calc and click generate apex code. And there we go. So this will create two apex classes. So it creates an asynchronous one and just a normal one. So that's pretty much what we need. So up next, we want to go to the developer console, go to file open and open up that Ooh. Might just need to refresh this. And open up the class we just created, which is over there. There we go. So we've got it all, all over here. So yeah, once again, there's a whole lot of stuff in here, but most, most of the stuff doesn't really matter. So the main thing is what you want to get to is endpoints. So if you just search endpoints, uh, yeah, that's exactly what we're looking for. So we want to find the endpoint that we're making the call out to. And that is this line over here. So as you can see, let's just have a quick look at what's happening here. So it calls the endpoint. Um, We've got a method in here that's divide. So we've got two par two parameters, integer A and integer B. Okay. So if we open up the anonymous window, so basically what we want to do here is we want to use the class name and use the class that's inside of that with the endpoint. I think it was line 60 something. Yep, this one here. So class name and calculator soap. And basically you can call this uh, whatever you want. So let's just call this calc1 equals new. So we just want to create a new instance of this. So let me just click that. So now the next thing is we said there's two parameters in there, integer A and integer B. So let's just create those quick. So we're just gonna create two ints here. We'll call that integer X equals, let's just say three. Let's use even numbers, let's say four. And integer Y equals two. All right, cool. Now, the next step is, what we want to do is integer, oh no, we need to call this something. So what are we going to call this? Let's just call this, um, so this is basically going to be the result of what we're getting. So integer result equals, so we want to use that. So this is basically the class name and the, the inner class that's in it. So we want to use that and use the method that we're looking for, which is the, um, we'll probably just try the, the add one first, which is the add method. Okay, so we've got two, two integers there, which is fine. So we've got add, and in here, we just want to use our X and Y. Okay, so up next, we just want to call it system.debug. Um, X plus Y equals, and in here we want to show the results. Alrighty, so just click execute there. Hmm. Oh, there we go. So 
yeah if you're in logs just double click on this thing here and yeah once again it's going to be a whole lot of stuff here um easiest thing to do is just go to debug only and there we go so we've got our result which is six so if i go back to back to anonymous window uh let's just try a different method quick so we use this add method let's try the let's actually try and use what else is there multiply let's use the multiply one so instead of saying add we're going to say multiply and we'll just change that this doesn't really matter because yeah what we're printing is the result of this so if i click execute again let's have a look at what pops up all right so we got x times y which equals eight in case we forgot what that was yeah two times four is eight all right cool so just one more thing um you might get an error when you try and do this that says something about remote site settings okay so what you need to make sure is you go to remote site settings create a new remote site setting and add in um basically the endpoints okay so for this one here it is let me just show you quick so basically we're using that okay as the endpoint so you just copy that go in here new new remote site setting um i'll try this i've already got it but just try that again name that or whatever you want and just click save and there we go as soon as that's done that should work cool guys and yeah please make sure you subscribe if you want to see some more videos